Welcome back to the MLS Zone where we talk about everything that's MLS and today's video is the downfall of Portland Timbers. Let's get into it. But first, you know we trying to reach 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So subscribe, hit that subscribe button and we're trying to reach 50 likes on this video. So hit that like button as well. But let's get back into the video right now, which is the downfall of Portland Timbers. Now we will be talking about the four topic that will lead to their downfall this season and the first topic that we'll be talking about right here i know you guys know is the top players not performing the way they did last season and let me go over certain things diego right here he's class for portland timbers and if you're not a fan you know he is the liano messi of that team you know he shows up every time portland timber needs him you know it and you can see it in his stats from last year and i will be going over those stats right now this guy was class in the 2018 season in the seven match he played in present game he scored three goals and had one assist in this season in the seven game that he played already for the season he played seven games one goal and three assists now that's not the performance he did last season so i don't know what's going on you know i don't know if he's just lackluster or he's just not performing the way he normally do but i hope he can get back to his liano messi way and bring them out of the stump that they are in now the next player that's not performing for the portland timbers are is is this man right here sebastian last season in the seven game that he played in present day he scored three goals and two assists now this season present day he played seven one goal and two assists now that's far from what he did last season and everybody know this guy like the kevin de bruyne of portland he performed in the midfield for portland he is the midfielder and i don't know what's going on you know some say that he's just not the guy he is and we have to just deal with it to be honest but hey i don't know if it's true can he show up and perform the way he did last season but that's the first topic of why this will lead to their downfall the second one is the second reason is as good as the first reason and let me tell you why portland timbers can't win away games and let me go over the stats to show you why last season which is 2018 season they played six away games and one home game and they came out of that with five points this season now they're playing seven away games zero home games and only came out of it with four points it shows that they can't win a away game and it's really 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 not good it's really a problem for them Yes, it is a problem for them and they need to solve the issue because the fans are walking around sad, moping, saying why we can't get home games. But really, you should ask yourself, why can't you win away games? Now, I think this is a big issue. The third issue now is really a big one. The third issue is really a big one because they did too much. They did too much. And the reason why I'm saying they did too much, they did too much transfer to their back line, meaning their defensive line. It was really good last year, but this year it was mediocre to say let me tell you why i say that there's a lot of them got transferred out right and that is this guy right here the man and also this guy right here again power decent left back let me tell you this guy right here i don't care pronounce his name if you can comment down below if you can't pronounce his name now a lot of people got transferred in as well right but then again they're not used to the team because they just got transferred in so we're gonna have some mishaps right so this guy got transferred in i believe he came from porto this guy transferred in from new england rays some saying it's bad luck but this guy got transferred in so it's 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 all mixed up but that's why i think they shouldn't have did that much transfer to their back line because it messed up the whole team chemistry itself from what they had the last year now they're conceding more goals that they did last year to this date that's really bad the fourth reason which is the last reason the last reason is as good as all the three reasons i just came and that is because it's this guy right there their manager that's been with them for three seasons now now i've been talking to a lot of portland timbers fans and i've been getting a couple of conversation going and the fans are saying that they love the team they love the energy it's just that the manager got too 
comfortable. Too comfortable. And they want this to happen. They want a year fired. They want a new manager in place. Now, I don't know what's going on basically about the managerial stuff, but let me know below. Go and vote. Where there is reason one, reason two, reason three, reason four. Vote. You have a choice. And lay. Like, enjoy music. I'm